Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're putting together a $500 budget gaming PC. And yeah, $500 PCs are very easy to do in 2022 now with those prices of GPUs dropping, and we have a GTX 1070 in this build, a card that can play pretty much anything you throw at it still in 2022. Um, but yeah, what makes up the rest of this build? We're gonna talk about that, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Team Group and their extreme ARGB DDR4 memory, featuring speeds up to 5,333 megabytes Megahertz, a beautiful ARGB mirror design with an aluminum heatsink for high performance, and of course, easy overclocking support. If you're looking for one of the best DDR4 memory kits out there with a very unique design, then definitely consider picking up the extreme ARGB DDR4 memory from Team Group. Special thanks again to Team Group for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get into it, shall we? So everything in this build, guys, is actually new besides the GTX 1070 right there, which is a blower style card, so that makes it a little bit cheaper. We get that from eBay, and the best part about a 1070 is it performs pretty much on par with the GTX 1660, which a lot of people don't realize, and you get eight gigs of VRAM. So yeah, going used with this GPU saves you a ton of money. Obviously, you can't really buy new 1070s anymore at a reasonable price. So if you use eBay and do some deal hunting, you can find these cards in a wide range of different designs. You can even find some aftermarket ones with better coolers than this one. But we picked this one up because it was the absolute best price we could find, and we wanted to make an awesome $500 PC. So let's not waste any more time and talk about the rest of the parts that make up this PC build. So for the processor, this is pretty much a no-brainer because there's not really another option that's new out there. This is the i3-10100F and it's a four-core eight thread. It's pretty much the cheapest four-core eight thread in the market because these come in at like $79. And back in the day, that would get you a Pentium if you were lucky. And there was nothing Ryzen could even get close to that price. So this is an absolute steal right now. And it's one of the strongest four-core eight thread in the market. And it even has room for upgrades. I mean, you could, we've paired this with like 2060s, 2070s, 3060s, and it's been great. Now for the motherboard, we have this Gigabyte B560M DS3 H, and this is the DS3 H lineup we just love. I mean, we almost never have problems with them. It's the V2. I don't know what makes it V2, but it does actually have four RAM slots. It actually has a two four pins for the CPU, which I love to see. And it's actually, I didn't realize it says UD series on it. I wonder if that's actually the exact board. Cause that's really weird to see. Cause that used to be like a, we saw them in OEMs at first and then the, randomly- There is like a UD on the front of it. Yeah, so, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ultra durable. Ultra durable, so. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. Now for the RAM, we have this XPG Gamex D20, and it is backed by this person. Who this person is, I'm not really sure, but 3200 megahertz, it's not RGB, we had to save a little bit of money. I mean, we saved 10 bucks here, so if you want RGB to spend a little more and you'll get it. And now for the storage, we have this PNY 500 gig NVMe SSD. It's Gen 3 because we don't have Gen 4 support with the CPU, although the board does, so if you end up getting a better 11th gen processor, you could go with Gen 4, but Honestly, we're gonna get some really fast speeds with this anyway, so we're not too worried about it. Now for that GPU we mentioned, this is the GTX 1070, and this is a old uh, reference style, uh, blower style card. You can buy some aftermarket ones as well, like two fans or even some three fan cards that probably are a little bit more on eBay, but this one right here delivers the best price performance and it still cools well enough to where you're really not gonna worry about this thing overheating at all and it's still gonna perform up to its standard. Now for the power supply, we have the good old EVGA 500 GD, 80 plus gold, 500 watt power supply, I really can't complain. More than enough juice to power this 1070 and a slight upgrade in the future. If you want a little more headroom for some higher end GPUs and being able to upgrade that CPU, you might want to opt for something like 600 watts, but 500 from a reliable brand like EVGA, I'm pretty happy with it. And of course, for the case, we have a budget Antec one. This is the DP301M and uh, yeah, it has some decent airflow right here. A little bit of RGB built in. We didn't go crazy with like RGB fans or anything because that is an added cost, but you can do that by picking up like a VTrue fan pack in a case that supports ARGB. But yeah, this case comes in a good budget price price point, tempered glass, really can't complain about this build overall. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is put this thing together and show you how well it can play the latest titles that you all want to play. You know, your Fortnites and uh, well, some other games as well, but we're gonna go ahead and build this PC and see how well she performs.
All right, guys, we we're playing Apex Legends and we we're on pretty much high medium settings. So we got a couple of mediums, but other than that, we're definitely cranked up on everything. We like to be cranked up. We like to be cranked up. And yeah, we're getting some some mad FPS right now. And that, that's the weird part about this. That, that's kind of the weird part about like kind of the glory of, of Apex is um, it's it's a really easy game to run, even though it's a AAA title. Like you wouldn't think it'd be easy, but it's really not bad. Man, I'm really working on my movement here. Oh, oh, uh, good start. Uh, but yeah, we're looking really good FPS wise though. I mean, I really could not ask for anything more at settings like this. I mean, we're almost maxed out. Now, obviously if you want to get into like 1440 or something like that, then you know, you'd be looking at a little bit more strenuous. 1070 is still a great card. Pretty much anything to throw at it. This guy is- How do I punch? Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, no, oh, no, oh! <laughs> Dude, if I'd hit that one, it would have been so cool. Oh man. He's probably gonna cut this from the video, guys, but if you comment down below and it's the top utmost liked comment, McAllister has to dress like a squirrel in a future video. Well, I think he said he's fine with that. He just wants us to buy the costume. I mean, I'll do it. I just wanna know if you guys actually Th wanna see no that. There's no way they sell squirrel costumes. There has to be squirrel costumes. <laughs> like, I've never seen someone say, I wanna be a squirrel for Halloween. I'm looking it up right now. And if your kid says that, find them help. <laughs> I'd be worried. It's really the last guy. Wow. Wow. That was a That's quick suck. Apex run. <laughs> Look at that. The performance is great. And McAllister might wear a scroll costume in a future video because it actually exists. Let's go on to another game. Hi, McAllister. How you doing? You, feel, you feeling frisky today? We are now in everyone's favorite game, kind of jokingly, but Fortnite. We're um, running performance mode, medium-ish settings, and we're getting a high refresh rate experience. That i3-10-100 is incredibly underrated in terms of its esports performance in like Valorant, Fortnite, CSGO, all those other games. You can have a high refresh rate gaming experience while only paying $79 for a CPU. It's kind of crazy. That gun is floating in the air. Why couldn't I grab it? I do not like this. What, what did I just get? I'm so confused. Oh, it went outside the truck. Oh, he just got a rude awakening and his name is Rude Awakening. Aha, it's so funny. Wow, Ice Surge. Get surged, bro. But yeah, I mean, performance 200 plus FPS, really can't complain too much. Oh, I do not like this gun. That is a no-go. And Amy, I'm so sorry, I just had to do that, Amy. Oh, oh, gunshots? Where from? The house is on fire currently, did I do that? Oh, hello. <laughs> My man Gigabyte51, that sounds like a bot to me, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! Is, what is going on in this game? I can't really explain what happened there. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much Fortnite. I think I'll end it off here with five kills. Pretty, pretty good run. And uh, the performance is awesome. Getting almost 200 FPS at times. I mean, it's pretty dang good if you say so myself. Let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, we are on a mixture of medium settings and Battlefield 5. And we're 1080p, of course. And um, yeah, I, we played a game earlier and I had some good shots, but we lost the footage. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and redo this to the best of my ability. Man. Yeah, it was a, a, like McAllister, I want you to like go into paint, all right? And I want you to draw a car, yeah. like moving, and then Jackson getting a headshot on that guy. It yeah, was, like, I mean, it was full, like it was across yeah. the map too. Like yeah, car exactly. was going full speed, holy crap. Oh. You got him, you got him, you got him. Yeah! Yeah. Murder, murder! How is this guy still alive? Oh! oh, oh shit. Mode. He's still there! So we had one shot right now? Well, kind of a shot. Oops. Assist? What? That's, that's a lot of people. Oh, that would have been it. Oh, oh, no! Can I get helped up again, or is it not work like that? What is this guy doing? He's just facing backwards. Hell. Oh, there you go. My teammate's helping. Is that guy still there? Okay, he's dead. There. <laughs> that's dead. What? Oh! What is that? He just stabbed. Oh! Oh! He just killed everyone. Massacre, dude. How is this guy not? I just had this guy three times to kill him. Three times with the sniper met. How did? How did he hit me? Oh, I got him. I got him. That's another one. That's two. That's two. Oh! I didn't get the kill, but it... oh wait, I got a kill assist. Let's go. He's look. He's just oh. wa he's watching me, dude. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, you can get him. You... No! Oh. That's it. That's it, guys. Warzone time. All right, gamers, the last game we're gonna be testing is Warzone. And uh, 
yeah, Warzone's a game that's pretty demanding to run, but I think the 1070 on pretty much medium high settings can get close to 60 FPS on average once we drop into the map. So let's we'll see what we're working with here. We're definitely bottlenecks by the 1070, so that's good to see that that i3 could definitely handle a better GPU if you wanted to, if you wanted to upgrade, but let's get into some Warzone action and see what kind of gameplay we can get for you. Ah! That guy did not expect me at all. He was shook. Oh, oh. oh yes! Two kills on the board right now. Oh, I almost got that guy too. Oh, that guy was in a bad spot. Poor guy. Looks like someone's gonna run up behind me right now. Whoop! Whoop, whoop! Ah! Oh, almost had him. Stay, okay, well, that that's Warzone. I'm done, I'm over it, that's it. I got a good amount of kills, and I mean, this 500R PC performs very well for the money. Um, yeah, if you can buy all the parts, link down below if you links that will help us out. Let's go and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so we just got done benchmarking this beautiful $500 gaming PC, and it performed really well, and I mean really well, because we're talking a few months ago for 500 bucks, you'd be looking at an integrated graphics system or APU system, and you were only gonna be able to play eSports titles, but we just played AAA titles even at higher settings. And the best part is GPU prices are continuing to fall down, so this could be a $450 PC if you do some deal hunting or even less, so definitely check those links down below. They will be affiliate links that will help us out. I've seen a couple comments on our build guides with used GPUs. When we link eBay, links that are affiliate links, it gives you a generic search for that product on eBay. So you can look through all the listings on eBay currently and find one around the $200 or less price point to meet that $500 budget overall. So do keep that in mind. That's what those links are down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And now if you want a PC like this and you don't want to build it yourself or you want one that's really high end or really low end, we got you covered at our PC selling business. PCBros.tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. And if you use code TOSTYBROS2 on checkout, you can save 2% on your next purchase. PCBros.tech, see you guys later. Goodbye.